In January 2015, the 114th Congress will take office. However, not all public officials will be returning. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum, and I'm joined today by Congressman John Runyon. He's a Republican from New Jersey who did not seek re-election after three years of service. Congressman, welcome to the program. Thanks for having so me. So first and foremost, I mean, you're fairly new uh, in many ways. I mean, we've had members of Congress that are retiring at 30, 40, 50 years. Why are, have you decided to retire at such a young age? A multitude of different reasons. Um, I think I'm a, when I really look at a lot of other members also, there's not a lot of people that have teenagers at home that are around here. That's they true. They either have newborns or they have empty nesters. Or I'm grandchildren just, that are probably your age. Yes. And, and <laughs> it was just one of those things is I wanted to step up and I wanted to serve and, and you know, carry on the tradition I had in the nonprofit sector back home and, and got here and things at home don't necessarily work out and then obviously the things here don't necessarily operate the way well, you and think they do. That's serendipitous to my next question and that is uh, in your limited time here in Washington DC the building behind us is known for a lot of partisan rancor, uh, a lot of dysfunction. Uh, did you experience that? Um, are you experiencing that? Is that one of the reasons why you're leaving? There's dysfunction here, but there's a lot of good people that are here that get things done. You only hear about the negative aspects of it, but it is it, it, it gets to the point where, you know, coming from my background, being playing professional sports and being on a team, everybody's sacrificing for one another, and you know, it doesn't matter, you know, if it's a Republican Party or a Democratic Party. Even within that team, there's sometimes there's not a lot of people looking at that vision that leadership's laying out there and say, you know. Maybe we should we maybe should move on with this sure. and you know get a couple yards and run the next play. You know, Congressman, you alluded to something I want to go back to, and that is family. Um, a lot of members of Congress that I've spoken to over the years have said it is rough on your family uh, in terms of the missed birthdays, the missed holidays, uh, always commuting back and forth to and from your district. Did that fact, and you, you alluded to having young kids, is that did that factor really much into the decision where your family just says, you know what, husband, you know what, dad, you know what, uh, uh, older brother, I, I just need you around much more than what you currently are it factored a lot into it I mean especially and missing and missing a lot of those events obviously I have three very athletic children so and missing those events and not being able to do it even when you're home you're out running the district whether you're campaigning whether you're out actually doing a, a, official work or you're out fundraising you're always in the car you're you're, you're like I make it to your game by halftime, you know, and that so kind of stuff. So family comes second, oftentimes. Yeah, and, and that's the unfortunate part because even in the other world, I grew up in professional sports. A lot of those coaches sleep in their offices and they don't make them home. And I've seen some families ruined over it. So why did you run in the first place? It was it was really community service. I was very involved in giving back. Obviously, I was very blessed to be play professional sports for 14 years and wanted to give back to the community in that manner, and thought this was the next logical step. And got here and and realized what the American people really see a lot of times. It's it's really hard to get good things done and actually touch individuals that you know live amongst you back home, your constituents you know, independently, actually shake their hand and look them in the eye where here it's kind of the 50,000 foot sure. view where you, you hope it falls onto the right person as you're, as, you're, as you're going through the process. We got about 40 seconds left. I detect a little bit of defeatism or perhaps maybe a little pessimism. Is that accurate? Uh, it is, uh, but you know, it's, it's really kind of my makeup too, very results oriented person. And when you have nothing to uh, really say, God, I, I really set out to accomplish that. That was one of my big goals, and I and I got it done. That big one's not there. It's been a lot of a lot of little steps, and I don't have the patience for it. I understand. <laughs> Ten seconds left. Yes or no? Are you optimistic about the, our, our country's future? Yes, very optimistic. All right, Congressman. Thank you very much, and best of luck in retirement. Thank you very much. And thank you for joining us for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.